Oh, hey, good morning, everybody. Let's go up here to Otumba, Iowa, and pick up this load of Dr. Pepper. We're taking it all the way down to Springfield, Missouri. It is very freaking cold up here in Iowa. It is 26 degrees this morning. Get our doors open, slide our tandems all the way back, and go to sleep. Wait for the wait for their phone call. You said door six. Yep. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Bye bye. Hell yeah, buddy! Literally, I had no time to even slide my tandem. She called me. I don't know. Oh, come on. Alrighty. Let's go back around in door six. They're being pretty good today. But my appointment is not until noon. usually don't have all these trailers over here so I mean I've never seen them I've been here many times and I've never seen these trailers so uh, I don't know why they have them here but it's a lot easier to back in whenever these trailers are not here alrighty so we got her back then way before our appointment time Thank God. It's freaking cold here, man. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Six months ago, I was in the same dock here. And uh, whenever you pull out, they want you to go back up to that dirt lot. Well, it was raining, my truck was clean, and that dirt lot is muddy. So what I did is I backed her up all the way down there. I go inside, I get my paperwork. I hear this yard jockey driving around here, honking. I'm like, dude, I knew he was honking for me. And then as I was walking towards my truck, he was honking too. And I was like, I was just ignoring him. He came up, hey, you gotta move your truck. I was like, I'll move it whenever I'm done. And whenever I'm ready. Uh, he got real mad, he was like, it's you drivers that gave me three, uh, two heart attacks. I had two heart attacks because of you. I've been driving for 17 years or whatever. I'm like, dude, I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> Who gives a shit how long you've been driving? I mean, you're a yard jockey now, you know? So basically he's barking, barking. I tell him to fuck off or whatever. And he's like, you lucky you got your paperwork. I'm like, dude, shut the hell up. Just go fuck off. And he did, he just left and fucked off like a stupid ass dog. 30 years, buddy! Yeah, fuck off! Looks like we got a piece of carcass right there. Kind of dead animal. Well, took a little nap. Woke up, started my truck. And look what we have here. Well, that sucks. All right, I shut the truck off. Well, let's turn it back on and see if that check engine light is still gonna be on. Let's see, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah, buddy. Please, come on. Help me out here, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Woo. Looks like we're good. <laughs> Thank God. I have no idea what that check engine light was about, but I'm gonna have to take it into a freight liner and find out. Alrighty. Well, I'm loaded. Got a green light. Let's pull off over there into that dirt lot and go inside and get the paperwork. Well, I've been here quite a few times. And that lady at the checkout is the nicest person I've ran into so far here at this location. Everything went smoothly, thank God. Let's head on down south, go home, spend the night at home, and get up early in the morning and go deliver this to Springfield, Missouri. Yeah, buddy, run it up on a curve. It's not yours. Why would you care? <coughs> See, they leave these trailers right here lined up on the street, but I think I should be okay now because there isn't one right there. But they leave them here and it's very hard to turn. But I made it now. Alright. Alrighty. Well, we got. Less than three hours left to get home. So we gotta go home, take a shower, relax, and leave early tomorrow morning. Deliver this thing and come back. Oh, yes, sir. Two years ago, I'm here at the exact same spot. I'm making a right turn, but instead of stopping, like I'm supposed to here in Iowa, stop and then go, I just yield. As soon as I do that, there's a cop coming towards me like these cars are coming. He does a U-turn, pulls me over down here. He was an okay guy, he was, pretty, he was cool about it. He didn't give me a ticket, but he gave me something even worse than a ticket, which is a warning. Warning for a semi-truck driver is worse than a ticket. Ticket, you can go to court and you can amend it to non-moving violation. Warning, you cannot. Warning, points go on your MC number and also go on your uh, whatever, CDO. Oh yeah. If they ever pull you over, I know it's kind of stupid, but ask for a ticket.
pick this video back up tomorrow morning when I leave to deliver this. Alrighty everybody, see you later. coming here this is a good place I've been here a few times and the guy that unloads is very friendly because I think he's friendly because he used to be a truck driver so, well, let's go check in with him and get this thing off and go home oh this door is locked and let's try this door this door is locked too <laughs> Alrighty, well I've checked in with them. There was a new guy I gave him the paperwork and he's freaking nice too. And then I met a guy who drives this truck, he's fucking nice too. Everybody's fucking nice here. left at the fork. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. Alrighty. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I am empty and on my way home. I was supposed to pick up a load today and do a round trip from here, Missouri, go to Columbus, Ohio and back. And then I'm supposed to go pick up another load up in Burlington, Iowa, uh, Friday night. But the jackasses uh, for the round trip texted me and said, oh, the load is not going to be ready until, uh, until tomorrow, which is Friday. Can you do it then? I'm like, no, I can't do it then, man. I have this other dedicated load I got to do. And uh, you know, they did the same thing last week. But this is the last time they're going to do this to me. Fuck that, man. I am not doing it again. Next week when he texts me, do you want the load? I'm gonna say no, because I'm tired of this shit. Uh, you know. A lot of times, the load is not ready. I have to argue with them. I have to tell them I'm leaving. I'm not gonna freaking wait. And then they load me. Then the production manager wants me to wait until they unload the other flatbed truck so they can do more stampings or whatever. But dude, I'm not gonna fucking wait. You know, load whatever you have so I can go. Fuck that. 
then they wanted my other guy, my other driver, they wanted him to come back like 60 miles after he's already gone. I'm like, we're not gonna do that, buddy. So we're not gonna be doing that uh, Missouri to, to Columbus Ohio round trip load anymore. I'm tired of it. You know, I uh, I kind of plan out my whole week for that load and this load that I pick up on Friday night. And then you go ahead and screw me over twice in a row. Last week and this week. Guess what? It ain't happening again. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you again. <laughs> uh, fool me three times, then shame on me. So, yes, sir. There's an old saying in Tennessee, I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. If fool me, we can't get fooled again. Thank you everybody for uh, following along. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you want to do. If you don't want to do anything, it's fine. So, thank you everybody and be safe out there. Full nozzle, easy peasy. $3.07 a gallon, buddy. Don't mind if I do. Topping it off all the way, buddy. Yep. We gonna get another truck wash on Saturday morning. I'll stop this one off too. All right. Perfect. Would you like a printed receipt? Yes. Wow, well, look. Probably don't even have to go inside. Ah, shit, I do. So, $749.99, 206 gallons. And uh, that's how much the regular price would be, just $259.9, $260. Uh, so let's see how much we save with mud flap. Alright, alright, so I don't even have to go inside. The receipt comes straight to my email. Uh, looks like I saved $109.42. Wow, that is freaking amazing. Uh, come and go in Springfield, Missouri. This is a freaking great deal, bro.